Over the last few years, we've hosted some huge Transformers battles, pitching Autobot vs Autobot and Decepticon vs Decepticon. Such battles include Hound vs Ironide, Bumblebee vs Crosshairs, Soundwave vs Starscream and Shockwave vs Nitro Zeus, all of which are available on my YouTube channel right now. We've even seen an ultimate battle with Lockdown vs Megatron. And now, Transformers Battles returns with two of the biggest and baddest in a battle for leadership and Decepticon supremacy, because this battle is Soundwave versus Megatron. Now before we get into it, please note these battles take place inside the live action universe and make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the notification bell turned on so you stay up to date with all my Transformers content. So let's start with Soundwave. Soundwave is featured in two of Michael Bay's live action films, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen and Transformers Dark of the Moon. Soundwave also featured in Travis Knight's reboot Bumblebee. Soundwave is the communications officer of the Decepticons and one of Megatron's most loyal allies. This allegiance was no more apparent than in the 1985 reboot, where Soundwave took command in the absence of Megatron in an attempt to destroy the Autobot resistance. With Soundwave being deemed as loyal, unlike Starscream, being trusted as an ally would work to his advantage, as any advance he would take to gain control would take Megatron by surprise. In Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, the communications officer used his tactical skills to breach the US military satellites and locate the remains of the AllSpark. His minion Ravage was then ejected and sent down to Earth to secure the Shard. Soundwave did this expertly, without getting his giant robot hands dirty. But this mission was to locate and retrieve, not seek and destroy. A mission of this type would likely require all Soundwave's minions, not just Ravage. That means Laserbeak, Buzzsaw, Rumble, Beastbox, Ratbat, Doombox, and possibly Frenzy. All of them would need to be involved, but would it be enough to take down the almighty Megatron? If not, Soundwave may be required to compete in bot v bot combat. Bring the rain. And Soundwave could then make use of his sonic cannons. The only problem is, Megatron has a fusion cannon. Wait, wait, which is more powerful? Let me know in the comments below. The last time we saw Soundwave take part in robot combat, he was blown away by Big Yeller of the Autobots. If we look at alt modes, Soundwave is a class act, a true master of deception. So much so, maybe Megatron wouldn't see him coming, just like Carly Spencer didn't in Transformers Dark of the Moon, when Soundwave was disguised as a Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG. So for Soundwave to win this battle, a tactical approach means everything. A meticulous plan would need to be perfectly executed, but that is what Soundwave does best. Locating the Shard, locating Megatron, re-sparking Megatron, working with the Gould family for decades to hide the location of the Ark, to assassinate Jerry Wang, and the list could go on. That's Jerry! But could that list stretch as far as to take out the Decepticon leader, Megatron? So it is with that, we discuss the Decepticon leader, arguably the most powerful Decepticon. But his track record in the live action movies is an abysmal one. Sparked out in Transformers, face blown off in Revenge of the Fallen, ripped apart in Dark of the Moon, then there was this guy for a short moment, but then he's back being kicked off the face of the planet in Transformers The Last Night. Oh, and of course, not forgetting Bumblebee, where he wasn't in it at all. Shh. Okay, what were you saying? But in most of those instances, Megatron had usually been taken down by an overwhelming barrage of Autobots, military, civilians, and of course a Prime. Optimus Prime. However, Megatron is a proven battle-hardened Decepticon, which cannot be said for Soundwave. He's notably the only Decepticon brave enough to stand spark to spark with the Autobot leader, on numerous occasions. And not just live to tell the tale, but in some instances, he came out on top. Soundwave will know that Megatron is ruthless and will do whatever it takes to protect his leadership. 
and that will place some doubt for the communications officer. He will know if his plan fails for one moment, that Megatron will have no hesitation blasting him away with his fusion cannon, or even worse, slicing him up with his menacing Decepticon axe. Soundwave will also need to note that he's not the only deceptive one. Megatron's skills of manipulation are just as powerful as Soundwave's tactical attributes. Who's to say that Megatron might not even need to enter battle, as instead, he turns Soundwave's own minions against him. I call that a cunning strategist, who can plan multiple schemes, ones which could be seen as far bigger than any of Soundwave's leadership aspirations. Megatron's alt modes are not flashy like Soundwave's. What you see is what you get. Rough, rugged, and Cybertronian. The confidence factor is so much so for Megatron that there's no need to be a robot in disguise. And yes, Soundwave might see a Cybertronian tank or a Cybertronian jet when traveling in his Mercedes-Benz rear view. But the question is, can he stop him? Megatron strikes fear into many, if not all Autobots and Decepticons. Let's just remember who the leader is here, and for good reason. But Soundwave will take great confidence that Megatron has not always led the way, giving his army to the Fallen, Sentinel Prime, and following the commands of Quintessa, a trusting weakness that has always been there and ready to exploit. So will it be Soundwave superior, Megatron inferior, or will Megatron crush the deception within his ranks? Who are you with? Soundwave or Megatron? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and your theories about how this battle will play out because it's time for me to tell you how I expect this battle to unfold. Here we go. Soundwave assembles his minions for his plan to overthrow Megatron. Using Laserbeak, he notifies Megatron of Optimus Prime and the Matrix location. Ensuring Megatron tracks Optimus alone, he feeds back the location coordinates and assures Megatron he will personally support him from his satellite location in the sky. His watchful eye will also send in any reinforcements that may be needed. Soundwave playing into Megatron's desperation to restore his planet to what it once was and regain the power using the Matrix to aid him make Cybertron strong again. Megatron takes the bait and heads to Prime's location. Upon arrival, Megatron finds there's no Prime, no Autobots and no Matrix of Leadership, just a surrounding of Soundwave's minions. At this very moment, it becomes clear to Megatron that this is not a locate and retrieve mission, this is a search and destroy mission, with him being the one that is to be destroyed. The battle commences with no sound wave in sight as Megatron blasts his way through Ravage, but is rattled by Rumble and other sound wave minions. But the leader is too strong. He fires back with his wrath to restore leadership savagely laying waste to any minion who dares defend the treacherous Decepticon who attempts to assassinate him. Megatron believes he's secured the location, but he's wrong, as Laserbeak remains, following Megatron, but not playing a part in the battle. Laserbeak swoops in as Megatron blasts his cannon. He misses, it's his second distraction, and then an almighty blast shudders through Megatron. Little did he know that Soundwave was never far away. Watching from the skies, he was watching from the location all along. A fallen Megatron crashes to the ground as Soundwave towers over the now former leader. No prisoners, just trophies, he says, and loads up his sonic cannons one more time. But that time was all that Megatron needs. A draw of his axe and he slices laser beak in half and loads up his fusion cannon. He blasts Soundwave. Soundwave attempts to transform into his Mercedes-Benz alt mode to make a quick escape, but the blast from Megatron has scrambled his circuits. His ability to transform now in bits. Soundwave so damaged, Megatron doesn't need to transform as he loads up his cannon once more and boom. The battle is won. My winner, and still the leader of the Decepticons, Megatron. So there you have it. For all the planning and tactical attempts made by Soundwave, 
Megatron was able to overpower his minions and shock Soundwave, blasting back when Soundwave thought the battle was won. Megatron toughing it out. But how would you see this battle playing out? Do you agree with my outcome? What would your theory be for this battle? Make sure you let me know in the comments and also which future Transformers battles you would like to see on the channel. If you enjoyed this video, blast that like button with your fusion cannon and please rate, comment, subscribe and roll out.